Uh, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well. And today we're back on with our Furnacy signal generator or process meter, whatever you want to call it, uh, the SG-003A. In the previous video on this one, I compared this to the HT8051. I struggled to get the accuracy uh, that the manufacturer was claiming for this Furnacy, but I didn't compare it to their actual specifications. Which I'll put this table up now. You can see that their specifications are predominantly 0.1% plus 0.005 digits. Do have a bit of an issue with that because as you can see here on the voltage input, uh, you can't get down to what would be 5 millivolts. Uh, 10 millivolts is the resolution of the display and it's the same with the current function. It's 10 microamps resolution on that, whereas they're saying it's a 5 microamp uh, accuracy adjustment. So you're always going to have a little bit of issue of measuring the accuracy on this really. But the units themselves do have the actual calibration constants built into them. You can access them and you can adjust them to what you would like them to be. So if we take a look at, we're actually on the voltage function at this moment in time. I've got this table and plot up. You can see here I've got two tables, one for the original calibration constants and then another one after I've adjusted them. You can see there's a bit of an issue uh, on the original settings on the intolerance column there. Uh, I've got five that are actually, well, four that are out of tolerance and one that's borderline, uh, and then two that are intolerance. And I played about with the constants, and tweaked them around and got them as best as I could. Uh, and I managed to get uh, the opposite way around. And I've got uh, five intolerance and then two which are kind of borderline. However, I do find it's very changeable. I don't seem to be very consistent once you turn the unit off again and power it back up. It tends to creep out of tolerance again a little bit. So I'm not sure what it is at all with the function really. Um, we put in 10 volts and then we'll see. Uh, we need to turn them on as well, don't we? Uh, we are reading 9.98 and I had 9.99 when I did my measurements after the adjustment. So yeah, you tend to find it does this. Uh, the constant themselves are easy enough to adjust. Um, we have to go back to the function button and input. We're on the volts tab up there and here we can scroll down to the calibration. And I've got three settings here. Uh, we've got uh, 0, 12 and 24 volts. So there are two ways to adjust these. Um, once you've gone to that window, hit the enter and then you can select whichever constant you want to adjust. Um, so if we go for the 24 volt one and I hit the enter again, I'm now in edit mode. I can adjust this manually uh, using the cursors here. That's what I want to do. Uh, alternatively, if I stick 24 volts actually into this, okay, it, um, if I hit the enter key again, once I'm in the edit menu, it will auto adjust. You see it's gone back to 3203 uh, there. So once you've done that, to save it, you just hit the back button and then back again and then back again and you get back to the screen. 23.9924. Let's go back to the uh, 10. I don't think that would uh, change. 9.98. Because we do have a 12 volt as well, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, so 12 volts there. Let's put 12 volts in. See if we adjust again. Yeah, we've got that one, haven't we? Remember, I smack on 12 volts there. So let's go back to 10. And we're 9.99, which is what I had before, so we're back in tolerance again. There's the 5 volts. So you can see there's a little bit of a playing around, 4.99. So yeah, you can play about with it, and you can get it to read a little bit better. But as I say, it does seem to be bit finicky. I don't know whether that's something to do with the way the electronics have been implemented. So what I'll do is just have a quick swap over and put the uh, bench meter down at the bottom so we can see the screen on that and we'll look at the source function and show you how the constants are adjusted for that as well. Okay we set back up we're actually on the multimeter now and we're reading amps going in and why am I not? I've not switched it on. And then you have to change the plugs over, don't you? There we go. So reading four. Uh, stay there, so 4.002. 
Um, so originally I've been reading 4.0052, which is in spec. Mm, I've got it reading 3.983. You can see we're 4.002. It's crept back up again. So yeah, not sure what it is. Every time I turn the unit off and on, having adjusted the constants, you get a different value from it again. Um, and these instruments, I leave these instruments for at least an hour to warm up. So they have the internal heaters in them. They they correct themselves. So there shouldn't be an issue with that instrument, but I'm struggling with stability on this. But anyway, uh, to do the source functions, uh, we are function and out. We're on milliamps, so again, calibration is down at the bottom. Uh, go button, and then you've got uh, for this one a 6, a 12, and an 18. This one changes slightly, so when you go to adjust these, um, whichever one you want to suggest there, hit enter, and then it actually outputs the current spec there, so it's now outputting 12 milliamps. As you can see on here, um, you can adjust it again and get the or hit the enter key again and adjust it and get the automatic adjustment, or you can uh, tweak this manually as well, and then obviously watching the screen. Um, I can wind this down and get a better reading if I want to. But how that affects the other ones is, of course, you find out when you go back in. Um, go back in there and go back again. So we're in 4 milliamps. Uh, let's go to uh, what's my presets on this? Mm. 12 milliamps. So 12 milliamps is 11.99, 12 ish. Uh, 20 milliamps, 20.009. Yes, yeah, so it's moved again from what I had in the past. That was mm, it's actually worse, actually. Okay, and then uh, 16 milliamps, 16.004. Yeah, yeah, that actually made it worse. I'll go back in and change the uh, constant again when I've done this. Uh, but you get the general idea. Uh, you can adjust these uh, to suit as you require, but you've only got the three constants there. To play around with so you can tweak them to give you the best range obviously for me for my work 4 to 20 milliamps is the best range for me so I can play around with the constants and tweak them to get the better kind of deal for me really um, but if you want the full range out of the instrument I think you would probably struggle to get all the measurements with inaccuracy it certainly seems much better sourcing than it does measurement mode See, put the graphs up here for the source accuracy for current. You can see they are all in spec, no problems. Um, we'll switch this one over and we'll go back to voltage. And I've got one that's out of spec, which is at the 24 volts at the end. Let's just set him up to go to that uh, voltage to change you. Uh, it defaults on there. And if we 3.3 is 3.29. She's in spec. 12 is 11.99. 11.995, 11.998. So that one's all okay. Uh, we've got 5. Uh, we've got 10 volts there. 10.0010. 0.0012 I got. So it does seem a little bit more stable on the voltage. Um, let's wind him up to. 24. Uh, so, yeah, so here you see the main problem we've got with the 24 volts. And I watched some of the videos on this unit, and I think a lot of them, either in the video itself or the comments in the video, uh, point out that they can't get to 24 volts sourcing out, and I can't on this one either. Best I can get is 23.29. Um, but couple of things. I played about with constants considerably. I've never been able to get it above so like 23.28, 23.3 or something like that. Um, you just can't get it anywhere near the 24 volts at all. Um, but what is slightly curious, if I step down to 23, pretty much there, smack on, 22.99. Um, and again, if I go down 22, 21.995, probably all in spec, we're all okay. Um, it just seems to be that 24 volts it can't get to. Um, 80.001 there, which would be in spec, no problem. Um, so, yeah, I'm not quite sure what it is that one. I think it's either 
a problem with the firmware or the actual electronics itself. I think no matter what I try to do with the constants, I cannot get 24 volts out. So I've played about with it and got the constants set up as the best I can. Uh, we'll quickly flick through these. What have we got up here? Uh, current measurement accuracy is seen. I, I got an improvement. Fudged it particularly for 4 to 20 milliamps. So I've gone from uh, 4 out to and 1 in spec to 4 in spec and 1 out. But you see I've switched the 4 milliamp around and get more of them in spec. But again, you turn it off, you turn it back on. It's, Seems to need a little bit more adjustment again. Very, very finicky instrument. Uh, put this final table up. You see here we've got our original calibration constants that I had, and then the adjusted ones were the ones that I adjusted them to to get those readings that you've seen on the other tables. And so it was the uh, uh, voltage source. Yeah, the voltage source I never touched. I've left them as they were. Uh, it's just voltage measurement, current measurement, and current source I tweaked. Not far away from them, but uh, just enough to make a bit of a difference. And so I have sent an email to Finercy just querying this, uh, if it's just the constants to adjust, or whether there's uh, anything else with the instrument firmware upgrade or anything. Uh, whether I get a response back or not, I do not know. I haven't had one yet. Um, usually not always too successful with these things, but you never know. You don't know until you try, as they say. So yeah, um, accuracy wise, um, I can't get it to meet. I mean, if they had a specification there like 0.15% or something like that, this unit would be fine. Um, but at this moment in time, I just can't seem to hit the specs that they're quoting. So yeah, that's uh, it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.